NASA pulling off an out of this world experiment just a little over an hour ago now. A NASA spacecraft struck an asteroid 7 million miles away from Earth. The DART spacecraft's impact hopefully changed the path of the asteroid. Very important, not headed towards Earth. But NASA saw this as an opportunity to practice diverting a giant rock should the Earth ever be in the direct path of one in the future. So joining me now is Jeffrey Hoffman, former NASA astronaut. Thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. What is the verdict, Jeffrey? How successful was this mission? I mean, it was really exciting. Um, it was 100% successful in hitting the target, which, which was not an easy thing to do because those last few minutes was completely hands off. It was autonomous targeting. The spacecraft had to figure out which of these two asteroids, because remember, the asteroid that it hit was, was a small asteroid orbiting around a much larger asteroid, uh, but it, it just worked perfectly. Now, uh, the, the really important an analysis, uh, seeing how much the orbit was changed and, and what kind of an impact it was, that's still to be done, but up to now, 100% success. Wonderful. When will we hear if the actual change of the orbit, the angle, was successful? Well, um, People are, are going to be making measurements, but typically to determine the changes in the orbit of a, an asteroid like that, you, you have to wait a, enough time. Now, it, it's in a pretty rapid orbit. It goes around roughly every 12 hours, so and at least a couple of days. Uh, I, I don't want to you know, make a prediction for exactly when it's going to happen, but don't be in a hurry. They, they want to get it right, and, and it, it'll take a little while. Absolutely, and, and I'm sure you've heard the question over and over again, how realistic is it for an asteroid to hit the Earth in the future? So I'd love your answer to that, but also specifically want to ask about Bennu, uh, this asteroid called Bennu, because in 2135, NASA says it will come near Earth. Uh, some of the trajectories actually has it colliding with Earth. So is this one of the reasons for this test? Well, as far as an asteroid hitting the Earth in the future, the best way to answer that is it's happened in the past. I mean, the Earth has been hit numerous times. We know that. Uh, you know, the dinosaurs got wiped out probably by an asteroid uh, hitting the Earth. Uh, dinosaurs didn't have a space program. We do. And this is the first step in a system of planetary defense, which if we can find the asteroid early enough, and that's critical, because remember, you know, this is a tiny little spacecraft hitting the asteroid, and it, it only changed its orbit a very little bit. But if you can do that early enough, then you can basically save the Earth, and that's what this is all about. Are there any other ways to divert an asteroid, or is this the main strategy that we have right now? Well, uh, you could, in principle, uh, put a rocket motor on, on the asteroid and, and fire that. Um, that's a lot more technically complicated. This is probably the easiest way to do it. And as I say, if you can find the asteroid early enough, uh, you, you, you haven't changed the orbit by very much. But um, that, you know, Sure, there are other more complicated ways of doing it. Uh, I'm not recommending the uh, you know Armageddon thing where we we would have to put nuclear weapons on on the asteroid. Um, but uh, I don't think we'll really need Bruce Willis to save the world. NASA has shown that it can be done a lot simpler. I, I absolutely hear you. Um, in the in the last 20 seconds we have, um, there's something special happening with Jupiter tonight, right? What do we need to watch out for? It's at its uh, closest position to the Earth in, in about the last 59 years. And if you can go out and get a look, it is big and it is bright. Uh, I saw it the other night, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful sight, particularly if you have a telescope. Now's the time to get that little telescope out and, and go have a, have a look at Jupiter. I love it's it. Jeffrey, with so much going on in the world, it's nice to just stand and, and feel small and in awe of something, right? Dr. Jeffrey Hoffman, it's so nice to speak with you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, always nice to talk. Thank you. All right, we are tracking her. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.